Hello there, Mark Cunningham here. And in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can manually upload or import manual journals into Xero. I'll do this in the Australian version of Xero, but you can do this in any version of Xero that you like. Also, if you'd like to learn more about Xero, then check out the links to our courses in the description below. So let's jump into Xero now and see how it's done. So from the main dashboard here in the demo company, just go to accounting and manual journals. And then what you wanna do is click on this import button at the top. And it takes you to this import manual journal screen. So there's some instructions here that you can have a look through. So I'll just quickly run through it. And you can see in this first bit here, there's actually a download template file and it's an Excel file. And it says here, you can start the process by downloading our manual CSV file. And then it's also got the correct column headings that Xero needs to import your manual journal data. So the first thing that you need to do is download this, and then you'll need to open it up in Excel, or you'll need to open it in Google Sheets or some other um, spreadsheet program. So the next thing you need to do is actually put your journal into the template and there's just a little bit of advice on here as well. And the main thing you need to note is just not to change the column headings in the template file. So we'll have a look at those at the moment, but just make sure you don't change them or delete them. They need to be unchanged as it says here. And then for me, because I'm using the Australian version of Xero here, it's telling me to use the English date format. So that's day, month, year. You can see there, day, month, year. So if you're using the US version, for example, you would use the US um, version um, of dates. And then finally, you just go through and find your file on your device and then you upload it or import it. All right, so step one is to download the template file. So you just click on this link here. And then you need to open it in your spreadsheet program. So I'll just click on it and that should open in Excel for me. Okay, there it is. So I'll just highlight those columns, double click there just so we can see the headings. So you can see here we've got narration, date, description, account code, etc. along the top there. So they're the headings that it was saying, make sure you don't actually change anything there. So just don't do anything in row one there, just leave that as is. And then the ones here that have an asterisk there, they're compulsory. You need to make sure you actually put something in those columns for each row of your journal. All right, so what we'll do is we'll fill out the journal and then I'll just show you what I've got. Okay, so I've just filled in two lines of a journal here and I'll just make those columns wider again. So what I've done is I've put um, the dates in there, so that's just today's date, and I'm just transferring some bank fees um, to owner's drawing. Um, so I've just got um, the credit side on the top here, which is why there's a minus five and the debit side on the bottom there, which is the five um, dollars there. So when you're doing this, you just need to make sure you put in your credits as minuses and your debits as um, positive numbers. And then you need to make sure they balance to zero as well. Okay, so I've just put in the tax rates as well there. So um, this is an Australian tax rate code for GST being uh, BAS excluded. So just make sure you're familiar with exactly the format of the tax codes for your country because you need to type it in exactly right in there. And then of course your account codes come from your general ledger and you need to make sure those are right as well. So the other things here is the description. So you can put a description in. You can see that's not actually compulsory. It doesn't have the asterisks there, but it's always a good idea to put in a description. And then finally, you've got the narration. So you need to make sure you actually put the narration on every line, even though it's the same narration. So you just want the one narration, which you can type there into cell 2A, and then you can just copy it down to all the other lines. So you just need to make sure it's in every single line of your journal, otherwise it won't import properly. So when you're done, you can just click on save. So I'll just click on control S to save it. And then we just pop back over to zero and import it. Okay, so we just need to browse. So we just need to find the file on our device. And there it is there. Double click on that. So you can see there that's chosen manualjournal.csv. 
You can actually rename that as you want. I just saved it as the same name that the file downloaded in, but you can actually change the name of it if you like. And once you're done there, you can click on import. Okay, so Zero has gone and checked the journal and you can see that it's got one valid journal in that CSV file and it's given us a little um, tick of approval there saying that a new draft journal will be imported. So it's not giving us any error messages, which is great. If you've done something wrong, it will tell you what you've done wrong and then you've got to go back and fix it up. All right, so we'll just click on complete import. Okay, so in our draft tab here, that's our journal there. So we can click on that. All right, so you can see that narration at the top, even though we put that on, on both lines, um, it only comes up once at the top here. It's got the right date there. It's got those two lines that we put in there exactly as we put them in. There's the credit, which was on the first line, the debit that was on the second line. It all balances. So from here, you can either save it as a draft again if you want somebody else um, to post it, or you can just go ahead and post it. So I'll just post it. And that should be over in posted now. Okay, so there it is, that one there, $5 debit and $5 credit. Okay, so that's how you can create a manual journal in a spreadsheet program in a CSV file, and you can upload it and post it in Xero.